Hi, this is hopefully video one and in us installing the SAP HANA Express uh, to run as a standalone um, instance using our own environment and not the VM and provided by SAP. So I'm going to stay signed out there and I'm just going to go get, oh look at that. This is a brand new Windows install, but I'm going to type SAP HANA Express edition and I'm just going to try to find the trial and I should just click here and I'm bumbling through this start my free trial all right let's just start my free trial and hopefully I get to where I need to go you might need to create a SAP account not a SAP account just go that and submit I'm going to use my own SAP account that I've already created ahead of time I'm going to wait for the spinny thing to go a universal ID, which I hope, I hope I um, will blur out for you guys who can't see my email. Um, universal ID, kind of a pain for me. I'm old school. My password. No, I remember my password. I created this the other day. I hope it's fresh in my mind. No, don't save that. Okay, opening Universal ID, HANA Express Edition. I'm off the trial. Come on. Uh, I acknowledge the end license and user license agreement. I am going to shrink this down to a size I can see it says okay note a Java runtime is required I'm gonna open that in another tab and I guess DMs the download manager yep download manager I'm gonna get the one for Windows you could get the one for Linux if you wanted to play around um, completed great unfor yeah hi let's get rid of that if I run this however you'll see I don't have my Java set up. So I'm going to come to this other guy I opened up. And I think it's... I'm looking for the SAP SDK. Is there cloud integration? I don't know where it is. Cloud. Anybody see it? I don't see it. I'm going to use Control F. Um, SAP SAO SAP job. Oh, there we are. This is SAP JVM. Um, which one do I want? I want the Windows, I think. So I'm going to download that. Oh, I have. Let's read it. Blah, 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 blah. Read it and agreed. I think regular Java, the JRE, will work for this too. Um, it's kind of confusing. It does want the um, JDK on some future projects. So I mean, let's just use the JVM here. I uh, don't want to cancel the download. Waiting a few seconds to download. I know I'm boring you all. We're going through here. Um, let's extract that. Right there. Sure. Sounds great. More waiting of 441 items. Um, for our viewing pleasure. Sorry, I'm just trying to make the computer go faster by talking at it. Okay, so we have SAP 8 JVM. I'll put them in here. That looks okay. I'm going to copy or X that out and go to the C drive. And I'm just going to create a directory called root. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, come on. Paste. I don't have it. Where'd it go? It's still up there. Control X, Control V. I'm going to copy that in there. And I think I need to set the environment variable. So let's go to properties. Let's see where Windows has put this in there. I haven't done this in a, in a while. Blah, 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 blah. System name advanced system settings, which brings us to the non advanced system settings. System variables. What do we call it? I think it's called Java underscore home. 
that in there. Click OK. 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 Click that. Also, I can down. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's go down to downloads and see if we can run the, the HANA download manager now. Now, look, it does work. I do feel somewhat validated and being able to not be totally worthless and getting software from the SAP site. Anyway, what we want to do is um, we've determined we're not going to use the virtual machine image. We're going to take, we got that. We want the, we want the, the I mean, it depends on what you run this. I'm running this on a Windows box and I'm going to run something that's, you know, going to run uh, a VM below it. So I'm just going to, I'm just picking this one. I don't, I'm not going to use the, the weird uh, little Indian uh, PowerPC architecture. I'm going to say binary installer. Um, before we go, I might need to have at least, I think it's 16 gigabytes of memory for this requirement. I mean, we can go look at... No, I don't need help. Well, I probably need help. But anyway, I'm just stalling for time. Just um, Everybody just go look at the, the requirements. I think we need 16. The more the better. Um, what we're going to ask it to do is get the SAP Express Edition binary installer method server only. Um, you could pick these other things and we could you know, install them as needed. Uh, yeah, might as well pick the clients for future use. Um, I think it comes with a, a readme that it downloads. The SDI stuff right down there. Anyway, fine. Download it. Let's download this, and uh, I'm going to put it on pause while it downloads so you don't have to listen to me rant the whole time. Okay, it's down and loaded and downloaded. There it comes up right now. Refer to documentation. So what I'm going to do is let's quit that because we don't need that anymore. Yes, I am sure we want to quit. Uh, hello. Coming to, I think I put it in downloads, didn't I? Okay. Here's my clients. Oh, okay, whatever. Um, I'm just going to copy those out and go back to my root directory. Root. I'm just going to say media, for lack of a better word. And it did obviously come up with the. Oh, we sure. Use Firefox. I don't care. The documentation for SAP to get started. You can follow along if you want. Okay, so that's pretty much the part of the video we wanted to get to. We wanted to get everything loaded to a download media. The next video is going to be installing in Windows the Windows um, the WSL. Um, oh my lord, what is that? To have a subsystem for for Linux, so we don't have to actually run. Uh, anything other than what comes equipped with the Microsoft stuff. So I'll see you at that point in the next video.